Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited to be cooking you my fabulous raspberry friands from my beautiful new book number seven. Now this is a gluten-free recipe and it is just awesome and super quick to make. So take note because I think you're gonna to wanna to cook this today. So first of all, we start with the egg whites. So we have four eggs and you just need to separate them because we're only gonna use the egg white. So just separate them. And you know, really at the end of the day, a lot of the saturated fat is in the egg yolk and we don't need it for this recipe. We don't, we just need the egg whites. So we're saving lots and lots of fats. And this is some of the ways that I can really reduce down the friands from being the traditional version, which are really high in fat, shocking, really, really high. So this is a fantastic low fat way to make a gorgeous recipe. One of my favorites in the book, to be honest. So we're gonna beat that for a minute. Using the electric beater. And I have all my ingredients ready to go. And that's what I love to do when I'm cooking. So that way it's quick and super easy. Nearly time. fantastic. Now what I've done is I've melted the margarine which is obviously the fluorolite so it's the low fat and I'm going to mix that in with the milk. I might do it this way. And that's good because what it does is it cools down the melted margarine because I microwaved it and so that way it makes it just a bit easier to cook with. So pour that into the egg white. Just give that a mix around. And then you add in your almond meal. And this is kind of a great way uh, of, with the free ants that make them gluten free uh, by adding some almond milk gives it really good texture. Um, but you know, once again, you know, you've got to be careful how much you put in because we're looking at making this a low fat recipe. All right, so that's mixed in. Now I'm going to sift in my gluten-free flour, self-raising flour. I think it's self-raising, isn't it? No, it's plain. <laughs> plain flour and some icing sugar. So just sift that into the dish. And by using the icing sugar, it really means a quick mixture because you don't have to beat it up to dissolve the sugar. Normally, friands, do you know what? They are really high in fat quite shocking but this way my fat count is only what is it 8.4 grams of fat per friand doing it my way which is much much lower than the traditional beat those in just fold really is probably the better way to do it and I'm making raspberry today but you can make them with different variations I love it with the um, passion, um, passion fruit which is beautiful. You can do blueberry and you can do the citrus poppy seed. So uh, beautiful for any morning or afternoon tea. Okay, our mixture is ready to go. So what we're going to do now is get our friand tin. Now, look, please get yourself a friand tin because it's all about the look. I know some people have used the muffin tins. It just doesn't look as good. They don't look great. So please Get your muffin tin. I do actually sell them on my website, so you can grab them there if you have trouble finding them. All right, so, cooking spray. And I need a spoon. And now you just measure out an equal amount of mixture into each of the 12 cups. So I tend to spoon it in. All right, last one. And with the leftover mixture, just go around and check if any are looking a little bit smaller so that they're all equal. I actually like to scrape the bowl because you know, it's amazing how much mixture you get when you do that. 
I love Friands. I cannot wait to have these for afternoon tea, I tell you. All right, so we've got our 12 done, and now we're going to do the raspberries. So you put about three raspberries into each Friand. And it doesn't matter, it's better if they're actually frozen in a way because they seem to hold a little bit better when you're pushing them in. And I like doing it this way because everybody then gets an equal amount of raspberries. Because when I first was experimenting with the recipe, I used to just fold it through. And I remember one day I got a frown with like one raspberry in it and I felt really gypped. So this is where I thought, you know what? We want to make sure everybody's getting the love from the raspberries because they just make it so beautiful. So with all the little extra bits, just go around and see if anyone needs a little bit more. And then what you do is just push them in. You could use a spoon if you wanted to be a little bit, you know, nicer, but I just shove it in with my finger and just coat them so that they're covered by the cake mix. So the oven temperature is 180 and they take about 25 minutes, just depends on how quick your oven is. And they take about two minutes to eat them. They're just so yum. Alrighty, so I'm going to come back in a minute with these raspberry friands cooked and ready for my cup of tea this afternoon. Well, here we go. Our friands are cooked and ready to enjoy. And what I love about these is that they'd normally be about 40 grams of fat per friand. And so 8.4 is fantastic. Now you cook them for about 25 minutes in a 180 degree oven. And the great thing about these is they freeze really well, they're gluten free, and they're suitable for people with diabetes, anyone that likes healthy cooking. So from book seven, my raspberry free arms. <laughs>